So we have the 7100 and the touch screen is uh, disabled. So everywhere I push, it always comes back here. Wherever I push. So also when you go to menu, others, this will not work. So you cannot do a recalibration. Had this several times and the touch screen is really defective. Now we will take it apart. So, now we got it all uh, figured out, everything uh, which does not uh, include the front display is out. If you look very closely, you see a, a small damage over here. And what I also notice is that the front is loose on the top, so maybe that's uh, one of the problems. It's, uh, yeah, I'll make a, uh, try to take this out in one piece. And then, uh, cleans the front of the display and also the buttons will have uh, a small bath so everything else will uh, clean again oh, of course we do this um, not just uh, without any radio on the background with the FT897 uh, uh, over there listening to the uh, SL satellite this is part of my simplex uh, setup for anyone who will uh, notice Simplex but duplex. I have the audio on the transceiver and uh, also the SDR, so that's the duplex part. So, but uh, that's an all different story, of course. Now, let's see if I can take this out. Uh, make it a bit heat, I think, to, uh, to loosen the glue. Maybe that, uh, oh, not, uh, my hand is not that accurate. It's just like they do with the smartphones. We'll turn off the heater and uh, uh, let's see if that uh, does the trick. Of course, with uh, Super Papa, Super Daddy, Coffee Monk. So, if you might notice, <coughs> sorry for that, the glue uh, comes off. The heat does re really does the trick. Not too high, about 200 degrees right now. It's enough to get it heated, not to get a lot of glue. <coughs> to, to heat up enough to let it go. Like that you can. Oh. Take it out in one piece. It's a bit scratch over here. I think that's the main problem. So, let me put that aside. Now we have the display, clean the glue out, and the entire front of the uh, 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 set gets an, uh, a very nice bath of me. So, I have it all cleaned, etc. This is a new display, ordered it at uh, uh, Radio Service. Very nice uh, delivered, very good service, as always. So, it comes in like this. Let's see if we can glue that in. So that fit, uh, fits right in. Looks real good. No tape to see. So, now uh, I put all the parts back in. Uh, Let's test if it still works. I hope so.
So, everything uh, back in place, even the flat cable. I was a bit afraid of the flat cables. But the small one has a uh, flipper, which you can uh, dismount it uh, quite easy. But the big one of LCD, uh, you just have to push it in by force and take it out by force. So I'm always a bit afraid of that. So I'm not sure if everything is still working okay. Looks okay. It looks brand new. Uh, and because of the cleanup, of course. I can see myself. Hi guys. Okay, uh, let's give it a test. Only one way to figure out. Always a bit uh, nervous moment. Let me see if this is. Oh, you can see it all. Yeah, I think. Let's give it a go. Screen still works, so that's not a big disappointment. But it's okay. Here we go. Uh, yep, that's very nice. Okay, menu, others, screen calibration. I always prefer to do it with a pen so you can point it out and don't have to big fingers with the calibration. Of course, uh, plastic, not to uh, damage the screen. One, two, three, and four. No. No, it works all okay. All the buttons still work. No speaker attached, I'm sorry for that. Okay, now put in the last bits. So, all in one piece and back operational. Not connected yet. Well, I'm glad with that operation, but uh, yeah, it takes some effort, takes some time. Uh, it costs you about an evening, but uh, yeah, uh, if you uh, uh, work nicely, then you can uh, fix this uh, kind of uh, problems yourself. Old display over here. Let's see if anything, uh, except for this point, not really something wrong with it. Like I said here, the uh, screen on top was getting a bit loose. I can put my nail underneath. Uh, in front of the video, of course. I can put my nail underneath. I saw that it was getting loose. But for the rest, uh, I think this is it. Let me put uh, a focus on there. Is that possible? Focus, yes. Uh, maybe this was the big problem. Furthermore, yeah, it looks... Uh, Except for this corner, looks quite nice. But still, no comprende, it doesn't work anymore. No, let's keep that one for the archive. Thanks for watching, and uh, maybe next time uh, and a different repair. Still have one over here, if you can look, take a look. Also a well-known problem, FT897. With the display, the bars. We figure out if that's repairable or also needs a replacement. Okay, ciao. Safety freeze from Pop Echo 9 Romeo X-Ray.